Okay. I think this is everything. Hopefully. Uh, hi and welcome to a new video. And in this one, wait, please close this. Just because everyone else on the internet is doing this. I mean, not really. It's mostly because a friend of mine was requesting that I do uh, everything that I made this year video. So this one is for you, Emirut. Love you. And um, yeah, uh, this part is mostly just sewing and I've done some other crafts too, but I guess that will be a separate video, maybe. We'll see. So you start off with the, the weird stuff that is on the hangers because otherwise you can't really show them. Um, so I made this bustier top. Looks like this. It's a pinstriped um, wool suit material. It has these really nice buckles that I ordered online. They're quite expensive, but I would say they're worth it. Uh, they're very heavy though, so. This garment, even though it's not a lot of it, it's pretty heavy. And also I matched up the fish, like a fishbone pattern in the back and did a razor back. It also has some boning. Um, yeah, I really like this piece and I have matching shorts. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Then we move on to the blue, some of the blue stuff. Uh, this one is also difficult to show, but I'll do my best. It's a drift flip that I made, and uh, I made it out of a mini skirt, and it turned into this top that has a lace up back, and I really like it. I haven't worn it a lot, uh, but I'm planning on wearing it more next summer. And with the material that was left over, I made this matching bag and it's really cute in my opinion it has a long adjustable strap and then it has this little short strap and it has drawstrings on the sides to cinch it in um, and it's just a small bucket bag and it's so cute uh, i really like the shape of it and i like the that it has like a lot of hardware um, and yeah, you can clip off both straps if you want to. Everything that I've made a video of or a tutorial, I will leave links down below so you can just check them out. And this is what I've finished most recently, I think. Maybe it's the last piece actually of 2022. Um, so I made a balaclava. It's like a year too late, I guess, for the trend, but I don't really care. I just make stuff I like and that I will wear. So I had some upcycled yarn. So I mixed one strand of wool and then one strand of polyester. Uh, so it becomes fuzzy, but not too itchy. And I wanted it to be this thick rib. So I just made up the pattern as I went. Um, it has a pretty thick back panel and I made it curved on the side because that's just what I liked and most pattern I found was like a square and I didn't like how it looked uh, but yeah I've been wearing this quite a lot uh, recently and it's super cute then this is what I made before that I crocheted these fishnet sleeves and hopefully I will have a video out on these soon but yeah, they don't look like much like this, but I've been really into cream and I just want to make cream stuff now. So I made these. Uh, I made two pairs actually, and uh, one pair my friend has. Then I made this set out of a thrifted um, sports t-shirt that was like three euros or something. So I made it into a mini skirt and it has like the details still from the shirt um, and kind of this in the back um, so that and then it's a matching set this one I'm redoing a little bit so it's not fully as it should be 
but I will show you in the try-on portion what it actually looks like. That is this matching like bikini top. It's like very much a bikini material or like yeah sports. Um, and then it has like this uh, matching rubber band elastic brown uh, in the back. So yeah, that one's pretty cool. Then I made these and they were just supposed to be like a prototype, but I kind of like them. They're also sleeves because I've been really into sleeves and like this kind of 19, early 2000s raver aesthetics. So I made it out of this shitty fabric I had left over and I just put an elastic in the sleeves so they like ruch up. And yeah, I've been wearing them a lot. They are really nice to party in or use for casual wear and uh, layer with and do like sub subversive basics. It's really nice. So I made those and then I got really stuck on sleeves in general and this one I'm also redoing so it has like all these clips in it but I'll try to show you either way um, maybe I can zip it up I was just noticing that the zipper was kind of bulging a little bit so I'm re-stitching it um, so it will lay a little bit better but it is this with a small mock neck, it has a zipper with a small ring pulley and then these massive sleeves with some ruching, some dangly straps, it has like the ribbed cuffs and it has cargo pockets so one over here and then one bigger over here and yeah these are super cool i had this one when i went out partying and it looked super rad and i really liked it uh, i'm also just planning on wearing it casually and um yeah streetwear kind of then uh, this one is also pretty recent i got this fabric from a friend when she moved she screen printed it it's a little bit more intense on the right side of the screen print so I've been like turning it inside out and I made this kimono inspired garment so it has like the big kimono sleeves but then it's like a sheer material so it's not actually a kimono and it has the collar and then it has like really high slits as you can see here and yeah I'm really happy with this one it has such like nice movement to it and I've been pl yeah, planning to go out partying in this one or just wearing it as streetwear too. All of my wardrobe is basically partywear and streetwear at the same time. So who am I to tell you every, <laughs> every item is like, oh, it's partywear and it's streetwear. But yeah, this one was meant for partywear, but now it will be everything. Also, thank you, Kat, if you're watching for the fabric. Really appreciate it. <laughs> um, then this one is just a remake or like a like a drift flip, I guess. So I drifted these pants a really long time ago, but they were like a kind of mom jeans cigarette pants silhouette, so they were very tapered, and I didn't really like that silhouette on me anymore. So I was planning on giving them away, but then I was like, hmm, wait, if I just cut off the legs and use that fabric to do cargo pockets, because I want cargo everything right now. And then I used some fabric to just add uh, to the inner legs to make, make the legs a little bit more wider. So now I have pink cargo shorts. Uh, and yeah, they're pretty cool, very comfy. I've been wearing them a lot this summer. Then I made this matching pair. So this is one of the first, first makes. Last year, uh, where I finished it. Did I finish it? The year before? I actually don't know. Hmm. I probably was working on it 2021 too. But either way, I think I finished it 2022. Um, this one has a video too, and it's just this balloon sleeve uh, upcycled. No. Up. Hmm. Yeah, upcycled. Yeah, upcycled. Uh... This balloon sleeve upcycled uh, yarn sweater that has a small mock neck 
and it's kind of cropped it's very boxy and nice um, and I made this out of two sweaters, like one sweater and one poncho that I found secondhand. And I frogged them to use the yarn together to get this kind of heathered effect. Um, and also to make it chunkier, because if you just use one sweater that is not chunky for the yarn, it will not be enough. Um, yeah, I really liked it and it's pretty cool. <laughs> And of course, making a big one, I needed to make a very tiny one too. This one I knitted way, way too hard. It's like super stiff, but it is so adorable. I have a small doll that I made of myself that is not done yet, but I'm like in the process of making my clothes put in miniature for my doll. And this is one of them. Uh, so I just made it from the yarn that was left over and it's so stinking cute. Um, yeah. Then we come to <laughs> one of the probably longest makes. Um, are these pants? Let's zip them up. So they are these velvet cargo pants, and these are fucking amazing. I've been wearing them a lot. The how the light falls on these and creates these kind of variations of color and how the the chunkiness and how they fall and all the straps and the pockets they're just great i love the fit of them i made a pattern myself and it's just super nice um, you can also zip them off i made zippers so you can make them into long shorts um, if you want to and yeah, these ones I also probably started in 2021 or yeah, they just took a long time before I had the energy to finish them because there's so many details on them and uh, I tend to procrastinate when it comes to pockets so that is why but now they're finished and I'm very happy about it and to match that because I don't have a lot of blue shirts I took one that I was, and <laughs> you can't see this at all. I was gonna give them one, this one away too, but then I was like, let's experiment on this one because I wanted to make a cutout top. So yeah, it just has a lot of cutouts. It has clip-on sleeves that is somewhere else now, uh, but I will show you in the try-on. Um, this one turned out really good. Uh, I did it really fast and very sloppy, but it doesn't really show when you're wearing it because it looks kind of nice. So I'm very happy with this one and I'm wearing it a lot with these pants. Then we have some, I guess, honorable mentions. Yeah, we have this bag, which is, oh, it's sick. Like I, I'm probably not gonna show you yet because it's kind of a secret. I'm planning on maybe selling this one. So I will censor it, but I made a very cool bag. You have to be more patient to see it properly, but um, this is my prized possession. I love it so much. Um, yeah, probably one of my favorite makes, I think. Uh, and hopefully other people will be able to buy it too. We'll see. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> then we have some honorable mentions, and these are very wrinkly. Uh, but I made a trench coat out of chiffon. Chiffon? Chiffon. Polyester chiffon. This is the shittiest material ever you can work with, so I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who's a beginner at sewing, because I hate it and I've been sewing for a really long time. But I really wanted a trench coat for this kind of Halloween look I had in mind that was like a business demon. So I was wearing it with a uh, pinstriped bustier and the shorts and then like demon horns. I will show a picture. Uh, and this one. Uh, I don't know if I will be wearing this more because it has a little weird shape. Maybe I put some chain in the bottom so it has some better drape because now it's just like standing out on itself. Or I'll remake it into a jumpsuit or like a boiler suit. I thought, I think that would be cool. Like, you know, wearing some tiny shorts underneath and then a top and then just a transparent jumpsuit. That would be cool, I think. Um, so maybe I'll remake this. But yeah, it doesn't look like much right now, but 
I promise it's it's a garment. <laughs> um, and then we have some shirts. Um, I made that is not for me, but this slouchy. Slouchy grey long sleeve. I have made two of these, which is also very, very slouchy. Yeah, you probably can't see shit, but it is a t-shirt, I promise. Um, and then this one is done, but I haven't finished off all the loose threads, as you can see. So it's this off-the-shoulder top that I crocheted and this band is knitted. And it's this super fluffy yarn. Um, I don't know if I really like it on myself, that's why it's not really finished, but maybe a friend of mine is gonna <laughs> adopt this piece instead. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I really like this cobalt blue color. Oh, I forgot a piece, I think. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. We are back and I think this is the last piece that I have here at least. Uh, it's these tiny shorts with cutouts that were supposed to be at the hip but they are not really like the, the hip bone. Um, but um, they're a little bit tight too because I didn't think about how <laughs> not super stretchy this material was and I was doing a very stretchy mock-up for it which was not the best uh, but i'll probably redo these for me in a little bit of a bigger size and sell these and i also made two of these one for a friend too um, and then i've done oh i will insert picture here this red set i've also made two of and yes <laughs> probably the most fucking time consuming project that i've done no maybe not but it felt that way because i've been doing it for years now like a I, a year? Did it take one year to make it? Fair enough. But I will also insert here. It's this very fabulous Pak Choi plushie. Can you do anything better than this? Like, yeah, I'm very proud over this. It was an order from my sister, so she has it right now. And it just turned out so good. Like my vision came to life and yeah, it's super cool. What can I say? Uh, so I think I think that's all the makes I had for 2022 and I'm really excited to see where 2023 takes me and <laughs> what clothes I will be able to make. Um, right now I'm trying to like punch out some items of clothing before I go to Japan because I want a new wardrobe for Japan but I shouldn't because I'm leaving in like two and a half two and a half weeks um yeah but i'm excited and yeah love you guys and have a very good happy new year and i hope you all will have a very crafty year hopefully uh and i'll see you soon bye